Hello, power people, and thank you for joining me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flojo, on another Power Ultimate video. Today, we're going to look at this neat little trick, how we can use one action to remove duplicates from an array and just have a nice, unique, itemed array return to us. And it's kind of a trick. So we'll get into it and we'll find out how we actually achieve this. So on your screen, you can see that I've got a manual trigger for a flow. Your flow might be triggered um, as a recurrence. It could be triggered from Dataverse, it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to have your array. So I'm assuming you already have an array. This video is not going to be teaching you how to create an array. So if you already have an array that has duplicates, this is the video for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array that has duplicates. It's an email mailing list array. And what I've got is I've got Joe at Contoso, Jax at Contoso, Flo Joe at Contoso, Sarah at Contoso. Then I've got Joe again, then I've got Meg, then I've got Flo Joe again, and then I've got Joe again. So I've got Joe three times, I've got uh, Flo Joe twice, and it's just something that uh, can regularly occur, especially if people sign up multiple times with the same email. So this is a really good example for that. Now, obviously, I don't want to email out these people three times. I want just a list of individual emails that I can send emails to, right? I, don't, I just want the individual email addresses. I don't want these duplicates. So how do we get from this, or wherever your arrays come from, Dataverse, SharePoint, whatever, how do we get from that to having unique items in an array. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the compose action, the best action, and we're going to use an expression called union. Now, as you can see in the black highlight on your screen, I've got union, and then I pass in the variable of emails, and then I pass in again, variable of emails. Now let's actually open up this and see it here. Um, so, what I've got is I've got union and I'm opening the parentheses. Then I'm passing in the variable of emails. Now this is where you would pass in your array firstly, and then you would do comma, and then you would pass in your exact same array um, again. So what happens then is you've got union, parentheses, your array, comma, your array, and then you'll close it out. Now, the trick with this is that union looks for the same items in two arrays and returns an array to you with those same items. But because we're passing in the same array, we're passing in the email address list and the email address list, it's going to go, okay, is Joe at Contoso in the second array Joe at Contoso. Now, obviously it is because we've got emails and emails. We've got the same array. So it's going, yep, we've got Joe. Then it's going to be checking Jax. Then it's going to be checking Flo Joe. Then it's going to be checking Sarah. And then when it gets to Joe again, it's like, oh, well, we've already got that. We know it's, we know it's there. So just skip that. Then it's going to check Meg. It's going to bring that in. And then it's going to check Flo Joe and Joe again. But Flo Joe and Joe are already in this new list. So it already knows that we've taken both of those ones and merged it into a new array. So then we actually get produced an array that has unique items. So while Union wasn't necessarily created for this, it's actually helping us achieve what we actually want to do and have a unique itemed array, removing all those duplicates just by simply passing the array in twice. So let's actually give this a test. So I'm just going to uh, run this flow. And what we then get back is, we'll look at the list again. So obviously we've got Joe uh, three times, we've got Flo Joe twice, then we've got Meg, Sarah, um, and Jax. Now what we get back is we get back Joe once, Jax, Flo Joe, Sarah and Meg, so we've got this unique itemed array. Now, it sounds complicated a little bit, right? Like we're taking two arrays, we're comparing them, but it's the same array, it's a bit confusing. But just think, if you're trying to pick the same items from two different lists, you're going to say, okay, is this item in this list? Yes, put it in the new list. 
is this item in this? Yep, we'll put it in that list again. But if this item is in this list and we've already got it, you're not going to add it to the list again. So what it does is it just skips it. So then we're just saying union parentheses, the array that you originally have, comma, the exactly the same array that you originally have, and then close the parentheses, and then we have an array returned to us, which is completely unique items, removes all of those pesky duplicates, and then we have an array that we can work with. And in this instance, I have an array of email lists, so now I can cycle through and go through and do my emailing. Maybe I'm doing that for marketing, maybe I'm doing it for whatever. I'm sending these emails out now, and I'm not sending free emails out, out to Joe, and I'm not sending uh, two emails out to Flojo, I'm just sending them out uniquely. Now, I have actually written this up on my site, so if you head over to flojo.io, you can actually uh, copy the whole example through, you can copy the array, actually do it yourself. Um, I've also uh, put all of the code in there that you need to copy for the expressions, etc. And it goes through, and obviously I'm going to be adding this video to this section as well. So if this has helped you, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already, because I have so much power to make content already here and more coming soon, as well as additional Power Platform stuff. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining me.